In this video, we're going to make this nursery stock barberry into a shohin bonsai. So every time I go to the nursery, I notice that the trees that I'm looking for are usually fitting. They fit in the katade mochi size or the chumono size. And I don't really look out for shohin size trees. So before we go into styling this barberry, let's talk about all the various sizes of bonsais. So let's take a look at this graphic right here. Shohin is 20 centimeters. Katari Mochi is 45 centimeters. Chumono is 90 centimeters. And Omono is 1 meter 20. And then Imperial Bonsai is 1 meter 50. In reality, the sizes break down even more so than that last graphic. So if you take a look at this chart right here, you can see that there's miniature size bonsai, medium size, and large size, and they all break down into several categories within that. Shohin is just kind of a term that's used more so with the uh, smaller size bonsai, but in reality, it breaks down to even more classification than that. So it's So this is called a Bonanza Gold Barberry. It's actually one of the easiest trees that you can probably turn into a bonsai. Um, and it's cheap. Uh, I love the tiny leaves, I love the aged bark, and um, how easy it is to turn into a bonsai. Plus it's hardy. Okay. I think it's time to go through this barberry and um, make some decisions as far as cuts that I want to make. I should really be wearing gloves for this because this plant is super thorny and yet it hurts. I take it out of the pot because I want to, I want to determine um, what's going to be in my front. Um, I'm just going to start making cuts on this right away just because you know I know what I want to keep. I know what I want to do as far as uh, opening it up out to um, kind of do the fundamentals of removing uh, crossing branches, crotch growth, parallel branches, barbells. And just kind of do that. The tree will start to form right before our eyes. And, uh, really like the color of this uh, shrub. Uh, it really stands out. And while I was at the nursery, um, you know, there was a, a, a large variety of burberries or barberries. And uh, this one really lent itself or caught my eye because of the, the trunk, the Navari, and kind of the aged look of that trunk. Yeah, and it's cheap too. Barberry is a very affordable type of uh, nursery stock that um, won't cost you an arm and leg to work on. You know, so if you make a mistake or you just, you know, whatever, screw up or kill it, um, it's not going to be the end of the world. Taking all the main branches off here, and um, I kind of like to work my way around the tree instead of staying in one spot. That way, you kind of get a vision of um, you know all the, all the tree from all angles. I don't know. That's just how I work. It's not for everybody. I want to work this into kind of a uh, shohin sized tree. I'm going to start taking things back here so that it's not as tall. Some of these dead branches. This is pretty much a hedge plant as far as you know nursery stock goes. So um, 
hedging cuts seem appropriate for this. I was spinning in a table and there was a uh, cut branch right underneath my finger. See this? Ow, ow. <laughs> uh, right underneath my finger where I was pressing down on. That's not too fun. I do want to take this down even further. I gotta make sure I pick up all the, the cut branches too, because the kids like to kind of run around the patio without their shoes on. To be honest, I do too. Okay. And just cutting things back. I think burberries are what I call instant bonsai. I mean, seriously, they just look like miniature trees right out of the bat. Right off the bat, right out of the gate. Ow. So these things hurt <laughs> when you uh, when they stick you. I feel like I really haven't done that. All I've done is just cut, cut, cut. And um, the tree is just kind of, you know, forming as it happens. Okay. I'm not gonna do much more than that, I don't think. Okay. So that's that. I mean, it's in bone's eye with a uh, trunk that looks like that. Once it feels in, I think it'll look great. Um, I don't like this kind of poking right at the viewer here. Um, and I may change this with time, but I don't know. It, uh, it's a cute little tree, a little shoheen sized tree. I don't like how straight and long that is. This part is kind of naked now, now that I topped that off. So that needs to fill in with time. As it is, it's a little bit too naked. And I'm just kind of shrinking that canopy even more. Okay, so once this goes into a pot, then I think the illusion of it being a big tree will look uh, a little bit more apparent and better. So... Pretty much that's what I'll do for now. And uh, I will fertilize it, let it grow, see how well it back buds. All right, so here is the uh, barberry that I bought. Obviously, you know, it's gonna need to uh, flush back with some new leaves and whatnot. Um, I haven't wired it, but this will go up kind of like that. And then I would, Use this pot that I found the other day for it. Give it that nice shoheen look. And uh, I love this little pot. I think it's super cute. I could even go down a size, to be honest. But uh, the pot looks bigger just because I'm up close. But that's about where, where I'll probably end up. I'm not going to do any root pruning or repotting now because look at all these roots right here. And there's a ton of roots. It's still in its growing season. And the last thing I want to do is disrupt that and p potentially kill this thing. So I um, may wire that up to give it that appearance. And that's pretty much all I'll do for this until, uh, until next spring. All right, here's the uh, the golden barberry after about a few weeks after you know, the root work and 
um, pruning that I gave it. So you can kind of see how big it is right here. This would fall probably into the uh, the show hidden size. And um, you know, I think it's a neat little specimen considering you know, how gnarled the bark can get. And then the small leaves and the beautiful yellow foliage and color that you can, that it has naturally. Um, and you know, this thing is still developing and it'll look even better than this once the canopy fills in. So um, at the moment, you know, it's still a little bit two dimensional, but um, yeah, I, I could see it kind of filling out and then looking, you know, like a standout little show hen size bonsai. So definitely would recommend this variety to you. I'll put it, the, uh, the name down at the bottom of the screen. And um, these are just perfect show hen size uh, bonsai. All right. Thanks for tuning in for another video. And this is a Barberry Bonsai. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Until the next time. Bye-bye.